He says, I am Alpha mm -hmm. and Omega. He didn't say, I am the Alpha. He said, I am Alpha. So, take note that the words are in caps. Capitalization. I am Alpha and Omega. He says, for those of you who don't know what that means, I am the beginning, or I am beginning and the end. Isn't it interesting that he who has no beginning and no end, he who is eternal, says here in the book of Revelation, I am Alpha and Omega. And you've got to begin to say, how can he who has no beginning and no end then call one of his names beginning and end? It's the dynamic of inside-outside. When God Almighty, whew, amen, who has no beginning or end, sticks his face in time, he becomes the authority of it. Meaning, he is also Lord of our time if he's Lord of us. Meaning, no matter what happens around us or to us, it does not dictate what is the beginning of where we are or what is the end of that place. You can look even back to Isaiah. And you don't have to turn there, but if you're quick, you can turn Isaiah chapter 9. You know the scripture. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called, capitals, capital W, wonderful, capital C, counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Why did he become those things? Because he was born in, unto us. Verse 7 says, And the increase of his government, the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Yes. So the kingdom of God is eternal. Why? Because the king is eternal. God, who is eternal desires to bring his kingdom that is without end back into the world where he's, he began it. That's right. Does that make sense? Yes. His kingdom has no beginning or end. Right. But when it comes into his creation, he wants to begin what he has already called the end to. Right. Alright, so, when we talk about this, his kingdom is already set eternal and everlasting, but he, when he brought Adam on the face of the earth, he said, take dominion, yeah. which would have been the beginning of what God already saw the end to. That's right. Oh, yeah. In fact, he began, if you will, at the end, and then brought the beginning. Mm. That's right. Because now we're in a time frame called man. That's right. God is not about dates. He's about the man. That's right that he's given a mandate to. That's right. There cannot be a beginning without an end. You can't see a new beginning without letting something go that was holding back. That's right. Amen. Our holding on so hard to something because we think that's what we've got and who we are prevents us from seeing where we're going and who we really are. Amen. Amen. You can't have a new beginning without letting go of something that should end. Praise right. God. The end for the believer is not extinction. There you go. <laughs> the end. Movie's over. The end. Turn off the lights. We're out. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you want to write this down, the end is defined in biblical terms as transition. I would love it. It's defined as completion of something. Now, the kingdom, there is no end. Right. Because it didn't have to have a beginning eternally. Right. 
but it has a result in time because man had to get there. That's right. Jesus is coming. You know why he's coming? Because he went. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Did you know you can't go come if you don't go? <laughs> is this okay? I know it's something, but how many are you ready to let your mind just crack a little bit? We've got to because we've got the wrong idea. Jesus can't come if he didn't go. So he had to put an end to one phase of what he was doing in order to go to the next level and begin something. Praise God. The, the end is not extinction. Extinction it is to those who don't believe. Even that, even then it's eternal what they're going to go through. But for the believer, for the kingdom citizen, it's not extinction, but transition. Okay. I'm going to say it again if you want to write it. Transition, completion, and fulfillment. You know what the other definition of the word end is, Pastor Jerry, I know you know this, is a perimeter. I will follow you to the ends of the earth. <laughs> Please understand, I believe Jesus is coming. Please understand, I do know there's transition. I do know that there is a, a, a meeting Him in the air. Not the skies, the air. My world system, the way it is right now, <laughs> this is how we're saying it's going to end. <laughs> and we're going, oh no! No more loans! <laughs> no more high cost of food! No more government control! How will we live without our system? And God says, what's wrong with you people? <laughs> what is wrong with you people? You are, your eyes have closed. Your ears are dull. You've just become stiff-necked and don't even understand that I want you to let this phase go. That's right. I'm bringing it in. It's been fulfilled. It's done. It was wonderful then, but now I'm opening a beginning. But you can't get to the beginning without letting that end.